shopping, trading, finding a good deal are some of life's greatest pleasures. But things can quickly turn into a nightmare when you do it online. Late delivery, annoying return policies, or worse. Scams can turn things sour real quick. So, in this week's episode, I'm going into the lion's den. I'm investigating online marketplace scams so you don't have to. Today, we will specifically take a look at peer-to-peer -peer marketplaces, where you interact with the sellers and potential buyers directly. While these marketplaces are surely convenient and can be budget-friendly, they can also make it easy for scammers to get in touch with you. So I'm going undercover. I'm going to go through a few online marketplaces and see whether there are some offers too good to be true. I'm going to use an alias for this investigation. I don't want scammers thinking I'm an easy target in real life. Cyber security off. Let's see. There are quite a few offers for cars, but I think that might be too much money to gamble on. How about some clothing? Oh, this looks kind of cute, I think. <laughs> I think Cookie is getting a bit jealous. Let's have a look at the hamster section. A hamster swing, adorable. Let's look at the electronics. Some of them are pretty cheap, but I wouldn't say it's too suspicious. Oh, I think this is the one. iPhone 14, brand new, very blurry picture, suspicious description. Let's check out the profile. Okay, no reviews. Pretty new to the website. Only one listing. This could go either way. I think I'm gonna text them. Okay, I'm doing it. They're trying to create some sense of urgency. That's always a red flag. Cyber security on. We're recording this a few weeks after my scroll through the listings. If you're wondering what's in this box, I'm afraid I'm gonna have to disappoint you. It's not the brand new iPhone 14. That one hasn't come yet. And going by the fact that the seller disappeared right after I transferred the money probably means I was right about it being a scam. However, I do have the best consolation prize. This delivery is for the cutest member of the NordVPN team, Cookie. So when shopping at online marketplaces, what should you do to avoid getting scammed? First, make sure the profile is legitimate. As you saw, no listings, no reviews, and a recently created profile can be red flags. Second, pay close attention to the ad itself. Do the pictures look real or like something taken from the internet? Are there different angles of the object itself? Does the thing they are selling match the description? Third, chat with the seller. Are they willing to provide more information? Or are they asking you for more of your information than they should? Do you feel rushed? Four, test out electronics before you pay. If you have an opportunity to safely meet the seller face-to-face, -face, do so. And five, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. Here we are, my wallet is $50 lighter. So I can for sure say, please don't buy electronics from sketchy people online. Have you gotten scammed on an online marketplace? What are your tips for avoiding trouble? Let us know in the comments. She ain't ready for the F. My dad's savage in me back and I'm back and it happened and ready to blow. I remember doing deeds with Deji from the street, they left me on my own. My 